Hello students, this is Neeru Sharma from Biologics 5 and today we are going to discuss about 10 MCQs on transcription based on your CBSC and NEET exams. Here are 10 MCQs and we will discuss one by one. These all MCQs are based on the topic transcription in prokaryotes and eukaryotes that is in, present in NCRT and these questions are based on that. So discuss one by one. The first question the in transcription in eukaryotes heterogeneous nuclear RNA or HNRNA is transcribed by for RNA polymerase first, second, third. So as we know in my video about transcription in eukaryotes I have discussed that there are three type of RNA polymerase first, RNA polymerase second and RNA polymerase third and first codes for ribosomal RNA, RNA polymerase second codes for mRNA and third codes for tRNA. So mRNA is coded by the RNA polymerase second but they are asking about the HNRNA and what is this HNRNA? HNRNA is a heterogeneous RNA and during the process of transcription first during the transcription of mRNA first actually form the heterogeneous RNA HNRNA and then this HNRNA undergo processing this HNRNA undergo processing and form the final mRNA this is the process present in the eukaryotes and then final mRNA is formed after the processing of HNRNA so this mRNA is formed by the RNA polymerase second earlier it is known as HNRNA and final after processing it is known as mRNA so the option B is the correct answer that is HNRNA is coded by RNA polymerase second next we come to the question about polycystronic mRNA polycystronic mRNA as we know present in prokaryotes I have discussed this in my earlier video about the transcription in prokaryotes so polycystronic messenger RNA is present in prokaryotes and they are multiple gene multiple gene say this is the gene X this is the gene Y and this is the Z this is under one transcriptional machinery here is the one promoter and the one terminator and three of genes are expressed <coughs> under one transcription machinery so this is known as the polycystonic transcription which is present in prokaryotes bacteria is a prokaryote and prokaryotes and the <coughs> so the option d will be the correct answer because both of these are the correct and so both a and b is the correct option next we come to the third the question that is the enzyme dna dependent rna polymerase yeah it's rna polymerase catalyze the polymerization in we know the polymerization reactions always occur in the 5 to 3 prime direction suppose there is a transcription bubble and the transcription is occurring mRNA is formed so mRNA is formed in the 5 to 3 prime direction this is the 5 prime end and the new nucleotide is attached to the 3 prime end so the direction of polymerization is always 5 to 3 prime this is your 3 prime end the new nucleotide attached on 3 prime end so the direction of the polymerization is 5 to 3 prime so the A option is the correct answer next we come to the fourth one and the fourth question is in animal cell animal cell is a eukaryotic cell in an animal cell the process of transcription and translation occurs in as we know in eukaryotic transcription the both process occur separately transcriptions occur in nucleus and the translation occurs in the cytoplasm so this can't be option not this one so C is the correct option because both are separate process and the transcription occur in nucleus in eukaryotes and the translation occurs in the cytoplasm so the C option is the correct one now comes the fifth question which of the following step in transcription is catalyzed by RNA polymerase yeah RNA polymerase is responsible for all three steps I think yeah my in my earlier videos I have discussed about the process of transcription eukaryotes and prokaryotes and these three process initiation elongation and termination both are required in three steps RNA polymerase is required 
In initiation, it requires initiation factor. Elongation is done by RNA polymerase and termination. There is a row factor is required. So all these processes require RNA polymerase. So the option D is the correct option. All the processes are catalyzed by RNA polymerase required for all three processes. Now come to the sixth question and that is about the couple transcription. Yes, we know in couple transcription occurred in the prokaryotes. During prokaryotic transcription, I discussed that in prokaryotes, couple transcription occurred. Means both transcription and translation both occurred in the cytoplasm. Transcription, sorry, transcription and translation. Both processes occur in cytoplasm. So here the process is coupled. Both occurs at the same time in the same place. So we can say the coupled transcription and translation is present in prokaryotes. This is the correct option. Now come to the seventh one. Genes in eukaryotes are called split genes. Why? Split genes because they have intervening sequence in mRNA. This is the mRNA transcribed from the DNA. This is our DNA and this mRNA is transcribed from this DNA. So this is the mRNA formed from the transcription of DNA. So here the gene is split. So why we call gene is split because they have some intervening sequence which are non-coding part of DNA and these sequence are called introns. That's why genes in eukaryotes are called split genes which are absent in prokaryotes. Further this mRNA undergo processing and the final mRNA is formed. This is actually hnRNA we can say it says this is hnRNA, heterogeneous RNA. And finally after the processing mRNA is formed. So genes in eukaryotes are called split because the presence of these introns. It has intervening sequences which do not code for any protein. So these should be removed from these sequences. So these, these are removed through the process of splicing. So here the options they possess extra segments called introns. Yeah, this is the correct option. As extra segments we can say yeah, these are actually not required. So these are called extra and called introns. These are non-coding part of the DNA. Any other option can't be possible. They process intervening sequence called exons. No, no. So the first option is the correct, and this is A option. Next, come to the eighth question. In eukaryotes, the process of processing of primary transcript involves, yeah, in eukaryotes processing occurs and it involves splicing, capping and tailing. HNRNA, this is your HNRNA which is formed after the process of transcription and this HNRNA undergo processing and processing involves splicing removal of introns then capping at the 5 prime end and the tailing at the 3 prime end so this is the process which occurs in eukaryotes and these uh, these uh, occurs in different parts splicing capping and tailing these are different parts of the processing so removal of introns is the splicing capping yeah at the 5 prime end tailing yeah, at the 3 prime end so all these options are correct so all of these all these process occurs in eukaryotes they all three steps occurs during the processing of hnRNA and the final mRNA is formed after the processing next questions ninth one is the RNA polymerase required this initiation factor for initiation of transcription this is the row factor no it is required for the termination sigma factor yeah this is the correct option sigma factor is required for the process of initiation by RNA polymerase omega factor no and then none of this, this B is the correct option now come to the last question and that is the terminator region terminator region of structural gene is present upstream to the structural gene downstream to the structural gene 5 prime to the structural gene none of these so this is our structural gene we are taking it here 
this is our structural gene and you know that there is a promoter at the 5 prime end and there is a terminator at the 3 prime so the sequence this is your structural gene and the sequence after this structural gene is known as downstream sequence this sequence is known as downstream sequence and before the structural gene the sequence is known as upstream sequences upstream sequences upstream sequence so the terminate is present after the structural gene and it is on the around 3 prime so terminated region is present downstream to the structural gene so the option B is the correct option downstream to the structural gene so upstream there is a promoter and 5 prime this is all promoter so the option B is the correct answer so this is all about different MCQs I have discussed in my next video I will discuss 10 MCQs for translation so guys probably you liked my video so please subscribe my channel and ring the bell so that you get notified first whenever I post my next video